Hey guys, are you tired of the limitations of a small flip screen on your camera? Maybe you want something a bit larger and easier to see, but still portable. Something with more customizable monitoring features, or something that you can use from further away. Then, meet the PortKeys PT5, a budget-friendly entry into the world of external monitors, which could be a great addition for your shooting or creation process. So, let's find out if the PT5 provides us with mighty masterful monitoring or vaguely vexing visuals. But first, everything we are going to cover is listed in the description with timestamps. You'll also find affiliate links down there for both the PT5 and everything else used to make this video. And of course, if you enjoy the video, then like, subscribe, leave a question or thought in the comments. And with that said, Let's jump in to core features. The PT5 has a 5 inch 1080p display with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The typical camera screen these days is around 3 inches with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Do the maths and you'll see the PT5 has around 250% of the screen real estate of your typical camera flip screen. And like my spam emails, this seems to be offering a significant size upgrade. You'll also get 500 nits of brightness, which is decent but not incredibly bright. For comparison, a modern smartphone like the iPhone 13 Pro will typically offer around double that. However, a nice touch for sunnier conditions is the free sunshade, which is actually pretty helpful for visibility. The power of the sunshade in the palm of my hands. Yeah, Spider-Man 2. I could have been Dr. Octopus if you wanted to be a much worse movie. Remember that. The PT5 also supports up to 10-bit color depth. I can't test this right now because all my current cameras top out at 8-bit color, but the feature headroom is very nice. You should check out the links for the latest, but right now the PT5 is very competitively priced, well below £200, dollars or euros, making it a very good value option and a nice entry point into using a compact external monitor. There are some more advanced software features which we'll cover later, but first let's talk about design and build quality. We just mentioned the word compact and it feels like a good overall design description. The PT5 is a comparable size to a medium smartphone like the iPhone 13. Dimensions are on screen right now. The aesthetic is understated and minimal with an industrial dark grey finish and nice slim bezels that keep the screen super clear and prominent. Feel isn't particularly premium and is actually a bit plasticky but I do enjoy the fact that port keys say the main material is ABS engineering plastic. The benefit of that plastic construction though is great lightness and portability. At just 137 grams, the PT5 will comfortably sit on a camera for handheld shooting or vlogging scenarios without really adding any noticeable strain for the shooter. And there's more plastic in the free carrying case, which, like my hands, is not particularly interesting, but it is good at safely carrying things around, just like my... Oh. And at the base of the unit, you get a flexible hot shoe joint, including a quarter inch screw hole. This bit is also detachable, so you have the option of using the quarter inch screw hole, which is directly part of the monitor itself. So you'll have plenty of options to get a firm connection between the PT5 and your camera or your wider rig. And speaking of connections, let's cover those next. While the screen itself is a native 1080p, which looks fine for detail at that 5 inch size, the PT5 does offer full 4K connectivity through HDMI input and output ports. The input will connect to your camera as you'd expect, but the output is a nice bonus, passing the signal on to any device of your choice which has a HDMI input. Like an oversized, clearly overcompensating for something TV for example. Features like this, alongside just using a longer cable between your camera and the PT5 itself, makes monitoring at a decent distance from the camera much easier, which is useful in a lot of situations. And if you need even more distance, you could look at a wireless video system like the Hollyland Mars 400S Pro that I covered recently. The full list of input and output resolutions and frame rates supported by the PT5 is shown on screen now, but 
The short version is that it tops out at 4K 30 frames per second and 1080p 60 frames per second, which again is plenty for most typical use cases and is a good selection for the price point. Last but not least, you'll also get audio monitoring via a 3.5 millimeter headphone output. As for power, the PT5 gives you three options. You can use one of several supported battery types, full list on screen now, which is probably our most portable option even though the batteries themselves can be quite chunky and weighty. There's also a DC mains power input for compatible chargers, plus USB type A power input, and with a low 6 watt power consumption, you'll be getting solid battery life or minimal energy use, whichever option you choose. Now, what about those extra software features that I mentioned earlier? You will access these through the touchscreen and alongside basic options around things like display brightness and color temperature, the touchscreen software provides a pretty nice selection of extra monitoring capabilities. You can flip the display horizontally or vertically, which is great for mirroring the image if you're filming yourself or picking up pretty much any plausible viewing angle. You can also load and store LUTs of your choice. I don't use LUTs and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Pretty sure those were the lyrics, but if you are a LUT user, it's a nice option to have. I do, however, use focus peaking and exposure zebras to help confirm focus and avoid overexposure respectively. And the PT5 offers these along with a lot of other popular monitoring tools. There's RGB and Luma histograms, check fields, various grid and anamorphic squeeze options, along with things like false color and audio meters, all of which can be customized to some degree with things like color, sensitivity and screen position all typically among the options. There's more, but by this point you get the picture. Lots of options, decent flexibility, and I'd be surprised if most people can't find a setup that works well for their preferred monitoring style. So let's summarize. But just before we do, remember to like, subscribe, check out the affiliate links, and leave a comment if you enjoyed. Thank you. The PT5 is a very handy little monitoring tool, which I'm looking forward to using even more. It's already been quite helpful, including making this video right here. It's also a significant upgrade over a built-in flip screen with better size, visibility, flexibility, and monitoring features, all while remaining portable enough for outdoor or vlogging use to be fun and easy. As for drawbacks, I wish we had a bit more screen brightness as 500 nits can feel low in the bright sun, and while the sunshade does help, a bit more would be better. The plastic construction also isn't the most premium, but the lightness that you get in exchange for that is arguably not a bad trade. Pricing is the last thing to consider, and I think the benefits of the PT5 far outweigh those limited drawbacks when you consider overall value. It's a nice entry-level choice for external monitoring and a potentially great addition to your shooting setup. But what do you think? You've listened to me all the way to the end of this video. Massive thanks for that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, but most importantly, until next time, take it easy. Horizontally or vertically. Feels like these should be dance moves. Mm, mm, ah, mm, 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 ah.